The part of C.C. Capwell is now being played by Charles Bateman. You know, I practically stopped coming down here altogether. Santana was the one that had the idea of moving the gazebo closer to the house. I think she's right. It, uh, it's a waste being this far away. Forget it, we're never going to use it. No, no, Santana's right. As long as we have it, why not use it? Dad, look, as, as long as you brought up Santana's name, can you stand a frank discussion about her? Aiden, I know that Santana is not one of your favorite people. You know, you and Mason should get your acts together. He urges me to carouse, and you want me to be celibate. I don't want you to be celibate. I just think you should be more discriminating in your companions. I think that we've gotten a little far away from no. our discussion. We were talking about the gazebo. No, we were talking about you continuing to have business with some kind of Andrade. I mean, it's just a, a reason to get in, in more contact with her, isn't it? This whole business with the gazebo, it really doesn't make any difference. I mean, if the gazebo's in the middle of the house or five miles down the road. It's not that important to any of us. No, I suppose not. Not in the cosmic scheme of things. Can I rest my case? I just wanted to know how you felt about moving the gazebo. I don't care one way or another. I don't think anything moves you either. That's not true. You know that. I'm really enthusiastic about a lot of things. Are you happy? Happy? I'm... Dad, I haven't been home long enough. It's too soon to tell. Surely you must know whether you're happy or not. Dad, look, you want me to be happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. No. That is not exactly what I was after. Ah, oh, kitten, have I... have I forgotten how to talk to you? No. You do just fine. So how did we get off such an alluring subject as Santana and onto boring old me? I don't know. Look, Dad, it's just I resent her. I resent anybody that tries to break into the family circle. Anybody who doesn't measure up to our standards. Santana has some extraordinary qualities that I don't think you know about. Well, let me just ask you an honest question. Aren't you a lot happier now that she's out of her, her life? No, I definitely am not. And frankly, I, I wish you would stop making remarks against Santana. I really do. There's no question you've got to do something about it. Well, well if you're talking about fencing, uh, maybe I could put that in for you, but... You're talking about uh, block wall. Well, that's a lot of my scope. Mm. It's very sweet of Miggs to let us use you while you're not chauffeuring her. Good thing you asked and not me, Lionel. I think we're lucky that Brick's willing to be a handyman as well as a driver. I have a lot of talents. As we're discovering. I don't know. I don't like the idea of CC put having this gazebo so close to the property line. I really don't want to sit here watching them sipping tea and being rich, you know? Well, no one sipped any tea in that gazebo for a long time or anything else. Tell me, Brick, what, what do you think we could do to make this whole area a little more private? Huh? Well, there are a lot of hedges you can plant. Uh, how about Italian cypresses? I, I think Italian cypresses might be too spread apart. Maybe something about this high that's completely covered. Oh, it's you. I thought someone was on the property. Hello, Augusta. Hello, Cece. Hey, Cece. I wouldn't dream of putting even a pinky across your property line. I told Eden that we had trespassers, and that we were within our rights to shoot them. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. Oh, well, listen, we could put up a great big fence. It's so tough that you couldn't get across it with a tank. That's not such a bad idea. You're going to introduce us to your friend? Uh, be real neighborly out of you. Of course. This is my daughter, Eden. She's just home from Europe. Eden, this is Augusta and Lionel Lockridge. Hello. Hello. Uh, I faintly remember you. You've grown up. That sometimes happens when you get older. Sometimes. Not always. You know, as long as I have the opportunity, I thought I might tell you that that beachfront property that was yours, and now I own, has uh, got some debris lying around on it. What kind of debris? Oh, uh, beach chairs and surfboards and empty cans and bottles. Uh, I was wondering if you'd like to come over and collect it, or uh, do you want me just to send it to the dump? You know, CZ, I kind of figured you uh, wouldn't miss the opportunity to bring up that beachfront property. Couldn't resist rubbing it in, huh? Oh, I don't know, Lionel. I haven't tried to resist. Well, it was your son, Mason, who was sneaky and underhanded in getting a hold of that property. 
Well, I'll tell you something. The Capwells are going to pay dearly for that. I was under the impression we already have. That's only money. Save your breath. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I uh, have something to say here. You know, CC, this feud that has existed between these two families all these years was just beginning to cool off. I even hoped privately that it would cease altogether. But now I find that's impossible. But I'll tell you something. I promise you that we will bring all the Capwells responsible for this to their arrogant knees. When you do that, you let us know. Yeah. Yeah, I will. By the way, you might tune in on the 12 o'clock news and maybe even the 6 p.m. news. The Lockridges are going to make a very important announcement. I'm afraid I'm not much of a TV watcher. Really? Try this one. You might be interested. Come on.